Hey everybody, it's Brandon Odell of Coldwell Banker Canard Realty. I had a message I wanted to share with you guys, either for you guys out there that are agents or even maybe trainers, something that might help you. Something that's been driving me nuts is there's a lot of agents walking around in today's current real estate environment and they're being asked all the time how the market is and they both, a lot of times, they all have the same lame answer. Everybody's saying, great, or it's hot, or oh, it's, it's a seller's market. They're throwing terms around like this. What's the one question that agents get asked on a daily basis? It's, how's the market, right? That's what people say. And if you're giving the answer, it's great or it's good, that's probably the lamest answer that you could give. That, offer, that offers no value, no value to anybody, right? And your job as a real estate agent is to offer value. And if that's the answer you're giving or that's the answer your agents are giving, that's something I think we need to work on. You know, if you're out in the community or whatever, that's the question that people ask. How's the how's the how's the market? And I understand there's usually one of two way uh, situations happening here, right? One, they're just making small talk. They they really don't necessarily care how the market is. They know you're an agent. That seems like the natural thing to ask. I get it. The other thing is maybe you run into somebody at a party or a social event and they find out you're an agent and maybe they are interested and they just kind of say, you know, how's the market? You have to be able to answer that question in a way that portrays you and showcases you as their you know, trusted real estate advisor, somebody that has some knowledge and it's not just the average guy. You know, you don't want to answer the question like the average layman on the street. What are they saying? They're saying it's great, you know? That's not good enough. You, you need to take it a step farther than that. And um, usually the way I think that uh, the best way to handle that is to offer some kind of statistics or some kind of information that backs that up. You know, the three things I like to focus on is most people want to know, uh, you know, on average, how long would it take my uh, to sell my house if I put it on the market, the days on the market. Two, what are prices looking like? And then three, maybe is in today's current environment, what does the inventory look like? That's something they probably need to know. Maybe they don't necessarily, you know, know that they need to know that um, because not everybody quite understands that. But sometimes that's a good, that's a good reason to explain it to them. And I'll say something like this. I'll say, hey, yeah. Uh, I would say it is a seller's market. You know, most people uh, think that an average normal market is six to seven months marketing time. Uh, you know, we're currently right now sitting at about 3.4 months of inventory. That means if no other houses got listed, it would take about 3.4 months until all the homes are sold. Um, so we're definitely much lower than that normal uh, six to seven months, which is definitely a seller's market. Uh, last month, it looks like year over year, our, uh, prices have went up 1.8%. And on average, the days on the market are 40, 40 days. So all in all, that looks like a very good environment for somebody who's looking to sell a home. I would say something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be a 20 minute conversation. You just want to kind of add in some expertise and let them know that you know what you're talking about. Um, saying uh, it's great uh, just offers nothing. Okay. Um, an example would be, let's say you're, you're looking to buy a, a new Ford King Ranch pickup. Right, you're probably like most people. You know, most people don't just show up on the lot and drive off the same one. You know, they're not just on their lunch break and say, "I think I'll look at a truck and buy it." I'm sure that happens sometimes, but that's not the normal, right? They're going home and they're googling. They're trying to figure out information. They're doing their research. People who are buying homes are doing the same thing, right? So if you go out to the lot prepared, taking one step closer to making a purchase, and you and the salesman comes out and you say, "Hey, tell me about the new 2018 or 2019 Ford." Uh, 150 King Ranch. And the guy says, oh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> he's not telling you anything. You know, he's not offering you any value. And he's probably not offering you anything that you haven't already researched and already know, right? It would be much different if he says, yeah, they're using the same 5.4 liter that they've been using for 20 years. It's the longest running motor Ford has ever used. It it's, uh, literally has no problems, uh, uh, very little problems. Uh, they have inputted a new super duper Vortec uh, transmission and uh, you know there were some kinks early on in that but they've got that all out we've sold 38,000 units last um, this last quarter and uh, I personally sold 40 units and I haven't had any problems or, or something like that just offer something you know um, you're gonna look at that person much more uh, in a different light than if they just say it's great and they stand there which is essentially what we're doing as realtors um, so I just want to offer that to you um, if you are an agent now and that's the answer you're giving or if you're a trainer and you're training agents, ask them to think a little differently than what they're doing. Uh, just to say in a nutshell, if somebody uh, runs into you on the street and you say, it's great, that's just not good enough. I'm, Tony the Tiger says it's great and he sells corn flakes or frosted flakes, right? Uh, as agents, we need to do a little bit better than that. So just a little thing to think about. I uh, hope it helps you guys. And um, 
Uh, be out there, be intentional, and uh, um, best of luck to you. Thanks.